Good morning. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Shirt blinging. <laughs> Wifey treat me good. You buy me all kinds of nice stuff. She has a better fashion sense than I do, so we leave the picking the clothes up to her. The picking out of the clothes up to her. But I just want to tell you that, you know, for those of you waking up today that struggling with your identity, struggling with depression, struggling with anxiety, uh, just know that that prayer and meditation truly helps. We're all struggling with things. We're all going through things. We're all wondering how can we achieve that next thing or how can we be enough to that person uh, or when is it going to happen for me or why does these things always happen to me we all dealing with stuff like that in one way or another and it doesn't matter how much money you have whether you rich whether you low class high class medium income high income low income whatever everyone's dealing with these same similar issues so I just want to really encourage you. This is for you. Just believe in yourself. Know why you are here. What's your purpose on earth? Okay. Now, trying to have people love you and people care from you, for you, that can be a constant battle or something that constantly changes. What's not going to change? or what should not change is your faith, your belief in yourself, your core value systems, you know, the ability to identify who you really are throughout whatever issues come your way. You know, you got to know your, your standing or your state in Christ. Know where you're at. Know your, your true identity. Know that you are a king. Know that you are a queen. Know that promises has been made to you that won't falter. God said. That's pretty much it. God said. He said in the word he would do these things in your life. It's not going to happen how you want it most of the time or when you want it, but it's going to happen. So what I want you to do is just keep your hands steadied on that gospel plow. And for me, I don't even know what my biggest battle is. That's funny. I really, my biggest battle is with the devil. But the devil sent folks my way. He sent spirits my way, energy my way. Um, they may send them to your job. They may send it to where your hobby is, to your kid's school. You might put a spirit inside somebody in your family, your loved one, even a friend. That's when we got to exercise the power of discernment. And what I really was thinking about doing is it's in Psalm, Psalm 119. For those of y'all that have pr trouble or struggling prayer, Psalms 119 has a whole lot of good tidbits in it that can help guide you through your journey. So that's what I really, really want to do is start taking time reading some parts of 119. It's super long. I don't want y'all to come try to ridicule me. Be like, hey, Thurston, you up on here cussing and reading the Bible. I'm not all the way redeemed now. I'm still a work in progress, but I'm grounded. I'm anchored. And I got a lot of stuff I want to share with y'all. One of the important things, I know one day I'm going to be gone. One day these thoughts are going to be gone. Something can happen to me. I have children. I have grandchildren, nieces and nephews. Even cousins or friends or people that see me in society that can just tap on to this and understand what's going on, man. This thought process. I ain't nobody great. I'm just a regular Joe. But my tenacity, persistency, the ability not to give up and pursue my dreams and goals, you can't mess with me. And I got a good workout plan that I might share with y'all. I might share my start sharing my workout online on my YouTube channel. Um, but just know as you wake up this morning, brush your teeth, comb your hair, or put lotion on your scalp, whatever you do, 
Just know that God loves you. We love you. And that you are capable. You're valuable. You're beautiful. And that no matter what you're going through, no matter how bad it seems, it's a brighter day. But you got to be anchored. I ain't telling you to, to walk around like a living Bible or walk around saying, thus says the Lord. I'm saying you got to be anchored. Because it's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. And you can run, but you can't hide forever from these, you know, streets that we done took. You walking with your, hmm, you walking with your head down, scared to look. Hold your head up. Cause ain't no such things as halfway crooks. They never around when the beef cooks in my part of town. That's for my old heads. If you're an 80s baby, listen to that mob deep. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> be blessed, stay heavily motivated, stay humble, and be you.